What's up everybody? It's your boy Tishon24. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, today we're going to be talking about the Razer Ripsaw once again. So let's start. So before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my subscribers, Whiskey Rage. She was actually the person who inspired me to make this video. So last night she commented on one of my previous videos and uh, she had issues with her audio. So luckily I was streaming Modern Warfare on Twitch. So I quickly checked her comments, replied to her and I said, hey, you know what? I'm on Twitch right now. Uh, why don't you hop on? We'll troubleshoot your issue and see if we can figure it out. And I was able to help her. So kudos to her again for giving me the idea. And now hopefully I'm able to help you because I'm sure there's other people who are also uh, facing similar uh, issues. That being said, uh, let's get started. So in my previous video, this problem never occurred to me is because I'm using a wireless headset. So it automatically picked up all the information from the PS4 and it pushed it right into Streamlabs and everything was good to go. Um, one little minor detail that I mentioned, which I want to show to you guys is, so let's go into settings on the PS4 and we'll go into devices and then audio devices. So here I mentioned that the input device needed to be your headset and the output device needed to be TV AV amplifier, but that's only for the wireless headset for the wired headset. It's a little bit different. So there's two ways of doing it and it won't work, which is probably why you guys are frustrated. Uh, luckily we, you know, even for me, it was a, it was a back and forth, uh, troubleshooting this issue. And we fig we finally figured it out last night. So one way of doing it, right. Um, I don't have a wired headset, so I have to use this regular, I think it's like a headset from dollar stores. Uh, so you connect this to your controller and it should automatically pick it up on your PS4. Uh, one thing you would have to do is on your output, you would change it to headset connected to the controller. So you have that option. Now this works for you. You will be able to hear your game audio and your party chat, but your viewers won't be able to hear it. So the second option is to connect your headset directly into the Razer Ripsaw audio jack. But the problem is that's also basically what you do with your controller where you connect it. You'll be able to hear your game audio and your party chat, but your viewers won't be able to hear your party chat. So simple solution is go and get yourself a splitter. So I'll leave a link in the description. Ironically, the splitter is from Helgado. The reason why I didn't get the Elgato, like I mentioned in my first video, it was sold out everywhere. I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and bought Razer Ripsaw. To be honest, I'm happy with it because it has a 4K pass through. It has a lot of advantages for the price uh, and it was available. So there's no brainer for me. I had to go and get it. So the Elgato splitter you can get any splitter on Amazon. It doesn't have to be Elgato, but I just got it just because the price is right. So what you want to do is basically connect your headset wire to the splitter, right? Like so. And then the short end of the uh, wire would connect directly to your controller. The long end of the wire doo -doo 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 -doo, will connect directly to the headset jack on your Razer Ripsaw. That way, now your input would be your headset connected to the controller. You leave the output still as TV so that the output um, is sent directly to the Razer Ripsaw so that it can pick up party chat. Now, if I connect, if I, da, 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 if I put this into my ears, I'm now able to hear my PS4. Uh, and then if you go into adjust microphone, you could still, you see that it's picking up the mic audio and I'll, I'm able to hear through my headset. So it's as simple as that. This video is not going to be too long. I hope not. I don't, don't want to regret myself saying that, but it's, it's very short and sweet. Um, all you have to do is just get yourself a splitter and make sure you connect it the way I mentioned it. So again, the short end of the splitter, right? Your headset connects to this portion and then this connects to your controller. And then the long end will connect directly to the Razer Ripsaw where the headset icon is located. You're going to connect it there and you'll be able to now finally hear your game audio. The party chat audio will you can hear it as well as your viewers can hear it. Um, and then you use your mic condenser for your 
uh, viewers to hear yourself. Um, that's basically it. Is that it's that simple. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below. Just like how I helped one of my subscribers to, uh, last night, please follow me on Twitch. I'm at 32 followers. Today's what? September 13th. I'm at 32 followers. I have to get to 50 to hit the Twitch affiliate. So go ahead and follow me there. And uh, who knows? Maybe if you're lucky, I'm streaming. You have any questions about the Razor Rips, I'll go ahead, join the chat, ask me any questions, and I'll be able to help you as well. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, hope you have a great day. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.